Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this uh, video I am reviewing the Ford Racing GT Le Mans edition. So I hope you enjoy and Forza Motorsports sits. So yeah, I'll see you in the review. So guys, this Ford uh, car has a 6.7 speed, the handling 7.4, acceleration is 8.9 and the braking 7.2. It's a 530 horsepower car, as its torque is 494 pounds a feet and it weighs 2,745 pounds. So I'll see you on the speed test. Guys, so guys, ha as you can see, we're back at the Top Gear Circuit for another speed test. So we're in gear 3 and we've reached 90 mile per hour. We're at 130 now. 140. Will it hit 150? Yes, it will. 160. Will it hit there? So relatively fast, but not as fast as I would have hoped compared to the other cars. But so we're going racing here in Abu Dhabi. So we line up about fifth in the grid, I believe. Yeah, fifth on the grid. I noticed in this car it has a really good uh, interior with a, as you can see on the dashboard, it has a uh, rear view cam uh, built in. So, yeah. So, as you know, this is rear wheel drive, so it's quite good around the corners. I wouldn't say it's the best um, up straights, as you can see later on in this video. It, did get overtaken by the faster cars in the race obviously this being a supercar it is a indeed one of the slower supercars uh, in the game so as you can see we done a really good turn and I managed to get through the inside but as you can see the aerial atom so that is the next car and then the common seg there I believe that's the current seg just cut us up and we can uh, get the move on through him so we're going up on the straight I check the rear view camera I have a little collision here I believe it's here anyway there is one little collision see I go a bit sideways I believe he just hit the back bumper and luckily I had full control of the vehicle this vehicle is very easy to control so if you're looking for full control then I recommend this vehicle uh, to play it. Uh, I believe it is free I got I managed to get it for free anyway so yeah as you can see we're going up one of the long curve straights here in Abu Dhabi so the Abu Dhabi is a great alternating circuit with a lot of chicanes bends but also a lot of straights I had to do a bit rough there into the side of the current seg but oh uh, don't mind sorry about that guys so um we are uh, Currently in fifth place out of the 24 cars on the grid, and we are um, we just done a perfect turn according to the game. I should get past one and then um, hit the back of the uh, Nissan in front. So, yeah, I'm not really a clean race to be honest. To be fair, this is in single player, so you can't really expect much, but oh well, because in multiplayer it'd be a bit harder, and yeah. If you want me to do multiplayer, just leave it in the comments. Remember, the comments is where you suggest the next car and the next track and the online server or offline. I've currently been doing all the cars offline, so yeah. So we uh, we're on the second and final lap here, and Abu Dubai. We managed to get on the outside of that yellow car there, and we're chasing the Bugatti Veyron here. So yeah. I, I am thinking of doing a series uh, like the Stig, like from Top Gear, where he drives around tracks, like and does the time. So if you want that, just leave a like or just comment it and see your opinions. I will be uh, doing one certain track. So yeah, it's up to you what um, track you want it to be on, and that's what the whole series will be on. So yeah. We're going up the main straight here on um, around Abu Dubai and uh, the Bugatti Veyron obviously outpaces us on pace obviously. This being a um, 530 horsepower car and the Bugatti being almost a thousand. It's a bit uneven 
him and we both go wide around this corner but I managed to just catch him up around the bend he hits the cones and yeah so we're moving up the straight again so for the second time we are doing three times three seconds quicker than uh, we were at this point on the last track so we go through the chicane I don't get things wrong but I will pushing the car to its limits here as you can see the handling is great on this car being at a 7.4 it's quite good compared to the other cars obviously the Bugatti isn't as high because it's a fast car rather than a uh, like control car so I'm a bit of a control freak on a Forza I quite like controllable cars because they're a lot easier to get around the bends and see as you can we just got to move on the Bugatti Vera and got past so we are going around the final straight here we should take the win pretty easy and yeah we do so that's the end of the uh, episode guys I hope you enjoyed remember to like and subscribe and yeah uh, also comment on the next car and what you think on the series thanks for watching goodbye